plant tissues. Plant tissues are mainly divided into two groups. The first one is meristematic tissue and the second one is permanent tissue. Meristematic tissue is of three types. Apical meristem, lateral meristem and intercalary meristem. Examples of simple permanent tissues are parenchyma, sclerenchyma and cholenchyma. Xylem and phloem are the complex permanent tissues. The meristematic tissue of plants is classified into three types depending upon its location. They are 1. Apical meristem, 2. Lateral meristem and 3. Intercalary meristem. Apical meristem this meristematic tissue is present at the tips of stem and root. This apical meristem helps the stem and roots to increase their growth in lengthwise. Second one, lateral meristem. This meristematic tissue is found in the cork cambium and vascular cambium of plants. This lateral meristem helps the plants to increase their girth. Now the third one, intercalary meristem. This meristem is mostly found in the monocot plants like grass. Intercalary meristems are found at the base of the leaf and at the node. Now, let us learn about permanent tissues in plants. Permanent tissues are formed by the differentiation of meristematic tissue. The young, immature, unspecialized cells like meristematic cells get differentiated into permanent tissue with specific functions. Now let's see the simple permanent tissue. Simple permanent tissue is of three types. 1. Parenchyma 2. Cholenchyma 3. Sclerenchyma First, let us see about parenchyma. The cells of parenchyma tissue are thin-walled. They are living cells. They are loosely packed and thus there are large spaces between the cells of this tissue. The cells of parenchyma tissue present in the leaf consists of chloroplasts and performs photosynthesis. In such cases, this kind of parenchyma is called chlorenchyma. Parenchyma stores food. The pulp of the fruits is nothing but parenchyma tissue. Parenchyma makes the plants float. In aquatic plants, large air cavities are present in parenchyma which helps the plant to float on water. Next we see another type of simple permanent tissue called cholenchyma. The cells of cholenchyma are living cells. They are elongated cells with irregular thickenings at the corners. The intracellular space between the cells of cholenchyma is very less. It gives flexibility to the plant parts like tendrils and stems of climbers without breaking. It also provides mechanical support. Next we see the third type of simple permanent tissue, sclerenchyma. The cells of sclerenchyma are long, narrow and dead. The cell walls are thickened due to the presence of a compound called lignin. Due to thick cell walls, there is very less space or no space inside the cells. This tissue is located around the vascular bundles in the stems and in the veins of leaves. It is also located in covering of seeds and nuts. The covering on the coconut, that is the coconut husk, is made up of sclerenchymatous tissue. It provides mechanical strength to the plants. This tissue makes the plant and its parts hard and stiff. This is about the simple permanent tissue in plants. Complex permanent tissues in plants. Simple permanent tissue is made up of similar kind of cells. Whereas the complex permanent tissue is made up of more than one type of cells. Even though there are different types of cells exist in one tissue, they all work together for a common function. The complex permanent tissues in plants are of two types. 1. Xylem and 2. Phloem. Xylem consists of tracheids, vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. Tracheids and vessels are tubular structures that have thick cell wall. When these cells mature, they become dead cells. Xylem tissue transports the water and minerals from roots to different parts of the plant. Xylem parenchyma stores the food and the xylem fibers they give support to the plant. 
Now, let us see about phloem. Phloem is made up of five types of cells. They are sieve cells, sieve tubes, companion cells, phloem fibers, and phloem parenchyma. Sieve tubes are tubular cells. Their cell walls are perforated. Phloem fibers are dead cells. Remaining all phloem cells are living cells. Phloem transports food from leaves to other parts of the plant. Xylem and phloem join together to form a vascular bundle. These two are called as the conducting tissues of plant. This is all about the complex permanent tissues in plants. Now, let us learn about epidermis. Just like how our bodies are protected by skin, the plant bodies are protected by a layer of cells called epidermis. In most cases, the epidermis is single layered. It is mostly flat and it forms a continuous layer without any intracellular spaces. The epidermis of plants living in extreme dry habitats like cactus, they have a thicker epidermis with multiple layers. This thicker epidermis prevents the loss of water. All parts of the plant are covered by epidermis. But there is a difference between the epidermis covering the shoot system and the epidermis of root system. The epidermal cells of the aerial parts of the plant secrete a waxy, water-resistant layer on their outer surface. This waxy layer is called cuticle. It protects the plant parts from excess loss of water, mechanical injury and from parasitic fungi. Epidermis present on the leaf has small pores here and there. These pores are called stomata and each stomata is protected by a pair of kidney-shaped guard cells. These stomata has two functions. 1. Stomata are essential for exchange of gases and 2. They help in the process of transpiration. The epidermal cells of roots bear long hair-like structures. These hairs greatly increase the total absorptive surface area. That means these hairs helps to absorb more water. In big trees, the epidermis on the stem surface is replaced with dead cork cells. These cells have a chemical called suberin which prevents the entry of water and gases into the stem. This is all about the epidermis in plants.